dun 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 Hey guys, hi, how's it going guys, yeah, you just saw my entire Star Wars soundtrack select collection, all the movies, episodes 1 through 7, even the Clone Wars movie, because I just love it so much, actually Kevin Kiner did a pretty decent job on it, like Ahsoka Tano's theme. And then, especially in the series, I wonder if they have, I'm not sure, I might have to look into whether or not they have, like, a soundtrack for the, se the series. Because I tell you, Ahsoka Tana, when she leaves the Jedi Temple, that one gets you in the feels. That's a good one. That's actually a really good song in general. But the point remains, coming to you with that video. This is a long-awaited video. I didn't even think that this mood, the, my... Top 100, not my top 100, that's a different one. My top 10 Star Wars song would even get this many views, let alone be like the number one Star Wars top 10 song list in all of YouTube. That's amazing. So first off, just thanks for that. That is really cool that you guys value my opinion in such a regard. And that brings me to my next point. My opinion. It's my opinion. Not, you know, it's not the definitive, like, this is what it is, you know, I mean... It's what my, you know, my top ten. I put that in there for a reason. Because I'm not here to say that this is the only list that, you know, matters. Obviously. Because I'm now going to go down the list of some of the things that have come to my mind. Because I see it a lot of times in the comments. Oh, why did you have this song or that song? You know? Because I didn't really think of what I wanted it. And it may, I'll be honest, I may have very well forgotten. But the list is there now, and I'm not about to just delete it or anything like that. A big one I get, and we'll go down, because I have a reason, and there was a reason all in all. Like, it, Binary Sunset. Everyone's like, where's Binary Sunset? You know? So, the episode 4 soundtrack. There is not a, there is a song called, it's, it's track 6, the hologram slash Binary Sunset. Binary Sunset, in and of itself, is not a track. It is a song. It, it did exist lyrically within the series. But as far as a song in its entirety, it is not. And I mean, obviously if you go to YouTube or something, but this is official. This is professional. That's why one of the um, ones that had made it on the list was, it wasn't just like the Ewok Battle of um, Endor song. Because technically... The Battle of Endor is actually four songs. Battle of Endor 1, the lightsaber slash the Ewok battle, Battle of Endor 2, and Battle of Endor 3. And I'm obviously not going to give four out of the six. You know, that's not really fair. That's why I love how at, at track 12 on disc 2 of Star Wars Episode 6 is archival bonus track, the Force Battle Concert Suite. Which makes it so much, it just compresses all of those pretty much into one. Uh, maybe not so much the lightsaber fight, but for the majority of it all... That is why. And so, the thing that hurt, I think, the reason I didn't put Binary Sunset there is because even though Binary Sunset in itself was good, the hologram just was one of those, like, it kind of pulled it from the movie. It was just kind of almost that background music to kind of help, you know, move the, 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 the movie along. In the sense that it just, it, so you didn't just have empty noise, you know, like, so there was something that you could put your, attach your ears to. Um... So I think it, that's a lot of what I think hurt it from... It would have definitely gotten an honorable mention, I think, at the very least. Because what I was looking for with this was that just these iconic themes, like Imperial March, Duel of Fates, the Bith Band, you know, or what, what was it called? Um, was it Bith Band? You know, Cantina Band, which I think I spelled that incorrectly on the video. But like Princess Leia's theme. That's like the theme songs. For me, those are the ones that really resonate with it with me. And here's, here's the reason why then the main title, again, why the main title wasn't one of the top ten. It wasn't the, it wasn't the video in the very beginning. That's why I did that partially, is because it would allow that to be there. But here's the thing. Again, main title isn't its own song. It's like, for instance, for episode four, main title slash rubble blockade runner. That really just doesn't, that part just, it was good and all, but it just, you know, it's again, the song in its entirety 
had that did not have that top ten quality to it. And here's another thing that I really just always like perturbed. This is the one that I just never can get. When people are like, "Where's episode seven music?" Do you see when the video was made, man? It was like three years ago at least. I don't even remember the date. I just know that it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. When did episode seven come out? It came out like last year. So. How would it have been possible for me in any way to have seen, have put that in? You can't just put it in and then be all willy know It doesn't work that way, man. And then, like, the reason I didn't do any ex, ex like, extended universe songs, like anything from Attack of the Clones or, not Attack of the Clones, obviously that's uh, the, the Clone Wars, or Clone Commandos, or, um, what was it, the, what the heck, um, Knights of the Old Republic, any of that stuff. Not that, like, like, um... Batista's, or not was it Batista? Anyways, any of the songs in there, I did not put because one, that's just too much. I was sticking to just the movies because that's like one, I watched all the movies, so I can say for sure I have parameters. I even played every video game. I haven't, you know, I haven't experienced any all of the extended universe content, so I can't say for sure. I didn't want to leave anything out. Again, that's why it's like for the top my top 100 list. It's only characters within the movies. That's only fair. I mean, I'm not the hugest nerd because that, that, because there's just too much. And so then, you know, that's why it's like, that's the parameters, man. Maybe I didn't specify that, but you know something? Come on. Like, you know, and that's the thing. You know, that, 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 that's why, you know, you didn't get that kind of stuff in there. Um, what's another one? Oh yeah, the, the, um, throne room. What's that was another one. Again, throne room slash end title. It's not its own song. Now, not to say that that still wasn't a good song in and of itself, and the end title were pretty good. I will admit, one that I would probably have, um, you know, because some people, some do ask me, you know, well, if you had made it with episode 7 in mind, you know, yes, something along those lines. Um, and I actually, you know, honestly, like, what would you have put? And I honestly, I would have, because I, I want to get this official, because you know how I like to be. Um, for me, I would have, because you got the, you got the list, somewhere, um, somewhere, okay, here we go, um, I mean, Ray's theme, I think would definitely be in the running, Ray's theme has like a Harry Potter sound to it, I mean, I think that has something to do with the fact that John Williams, obviously, was the composer, and he did do the comp, the, the um, the, you know, the music for Harry Potter, at least the first few, I think, first three or two, anyway, the point where I actually, I really like Snoke, track 17, that's just got this, it's like Palpatine's teachings, but on a further level. It's just even more, aww, the, like the deep voice type thing. It's cool. Um, I also now, you know, I also really do like, um, huh, I'm looking at special guest conductor Gustavo Dudamel did track 16, March of the Resistance. Fancy that. I like March of the Resistance. That just got this, it just gets you like, makes you want to just join the military. Like, oh yeah, fight for a reason. Eh, yeah, it's awesome. But I will admit, the Jedi Steps and Finale, for me, that was a pretty good song. Even the, even the, like, the end credits. Because, for me, that was cool. I liked it. And especially because at the very end, you get like this life do, 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 do. Like, it just, it's like this little, very light sound, but just, it just gives you chills, because you're like, it's Star Wars, it's back, oh baby, new generation of Star Wars, get it going, man, if we can get this sucker in the thing, though, one thing now, I mean, just, and this is the movies also, because these, as you notice, these look very similar to these movies, like, they can join them, so now, all my movies, all right, it's out of way, it's like having the one BHS, the one DVD for episode three, and then the rest of them were in VHS, now, I was under, the, I was told, been told, that episode three did come out on VHS, but I never found it, and all the same, it's like the same thing, now, they, they know that I have to, we have to now get them all, because we're all OCD like that, I'm going crazy. Anyways, um, <laughs> all right, I think I got that all out of my system. Now you know. Now you know why, you know, oh, oh, another one. Je where's the Jedi March song when Anakin goes in episode three? Now, I'm not reason with you. I probably would have had that maybe in episode four, in the, in the, not in episode four, in, in the list. But here's the thing, man, and I don't even get this myself. It ain't in any of the sound. It's not one of the tracks. I've looked at it. 
here we go. You can go on Google, Wikipedia, that stuff. Out of all of them, it's not in any of them. You know where it is? It's in episode two, because I was listening to episode two one day, and I heard it, and you know what it is? It's actually Love Pledge in the Arena, I believe. No, it's actually, no way, it's one, it's, I can't remember. I think, no, actually, it's Confrontation with Count Dooku and Finale. It's so weird, I don't understand that, because it's a song within the movie, and it's like, Especially as an iconic song as that, like it has a very iconicness to it. So it's not like just some kind of like low, low key sounding song. Like that was cool. I don't get why that's not in any of the soundtracks at all. I don't get that, man. I mean, to me, I think that would have been nice. But again, if it ain't in the list, I can't put it in. Professionally speaking, even though it wasn't like the most professional movie um, videos made, I mean, it was just done in Windows Movie Maker, that doesn't take away from the fact that I still did put a professional quality to it in the sense that I'm not just like, Obi-Wan's theme doesn't exist, man. I mean, I could list off all the freaking tracks on episode 4, but you know something? That would be a waste of my time and your time, because you can Google that stuff, and you can see it's not one of them. Now, granted, you can go to a YouTube video and look up Obi-Wan's theme. I have before, and I like that video, because it does have songs that were not in the movies, technically, and I believe it may have been because one of the songs is from, like, the Jedi Academy video game, like, we're about Obi-Wan and his adventures as a Jedi, and I, I don't know, but the point remains, it's not in the movie, so it can't count, so... Stop it, okay? So you comment. First you comment, and the next time you comment, you're gonna see this video. And you're gonna, where is this, where is that? This is what you're gonna see. Bottom line, a lot of times, if your song didn't get picked, you know, it just wasn't its own individual song. It was a part of another one. And that's the whole point about it all, okay? So, yeah. And you know something? Also, some other dude was talking, had said once, you're not a true, you're some young fan because you will have majority of, like, new prequel trilogy songs. That's like half of the songs are original trilogy, man. Shove off, okay? Here's the thing, alright? Duel of Fates is an amazing song. You can't deny that. You know something? The third choice, I believe third or second, was Imperial March, alright? That's, that's an original trilogy song. So, yeah, where's your logic in that? I don't know. Here's the point. It don't matter. I'm sorry that a lot of the original trilogy, the prequel trilogy songs are wicked good. That doesn't make me just some new fan. I've been in it since, like, the beginning. Not the beginning of the series, but, like, for me, I've been in it for a while. So it's, and I've loved 4, 5, and 6. They're some of my favorite movies. Top three, really. Um, so, yeah, that's just the thing. I'm done geeking out. Um, I think that's about it. Um, <laughs> if you don't like it, you can make your own list. And I gra I, mean, I strongly suggest it. Um, now I'm not saying, you know, don't like my videos or anything like that. But I'm just saying that, like, yo, dude. <laughs> it's gotta, this, this, this is my list. Now I'm not, obviously, can, you obviously can comment whatever you may choose. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, don't get so butthurt, like, this list is invalid, or you missed all the good ones. Apparently, two, three hundred million would, other people would beg to differ. I'm just saying, man. I ain't trying to be, like, braggadocious or anything. I'm just saying, man. And I know you gotta let people speak their mind and have a thicker skin. But at the end of the day, also, it's like, mood. I need to speak my in mind and give my opinion on all this. So, anyways. Peace out, and may the force be with you.